I am going to show you, I will amaze you. I had the capability of using words that I cannot spell. Because I am now going to teach you how to rebuild, how to regenerate, how to shine on, give a makeover, and all them other words that I can't spell. Part 136. This is how to repair an original Jaywick Seafront Bungalow. Part 136. Yes, time is flying when you have fun. And let me show you what we've done. Because this style is identical to no other. Are you ready? Let's go. Come. What are you waiting for? It's lacking. Come this way. Come on, come on. You're only sitting there watching on the screen. Quick. That's it. Can you come? Come on, faster, faster. That's it, over here, Nick, watch your leg. Oh yeah, over there, watch that. This morning there was a kitchen, ladies and gentlemen. This morning there was a kitchen. Now there is not a kitchen. This morning there was a bedroom. Now there is not a bedroom. All of the stuff, I'm storing in the garages outside. So all the stuff in this room, I'm storing in the garages because the garage is nice and dry. So I put all the stuff from this room into the garages. That's what I've done. And basically the house is totally clear nearly, which means I can now do my work with no distractions. This is how to do a rebuild of an original Jaywick seafront property. Part 156. We're at this stage of the build now where we are taking out all of the rotten wood and it will be replaced with new wood like this. So you can see where I'm at. This is how to repair, this is how to regenerate, this is how to make an old original seafront property. Brand spanking new, part 136. This style is identical to no other. Keep working, because work works. Shine on. Very rotten, you see. Very rotten. Uh, you can see that I'm taking it all away and I replace it with new. Old, go, new, stay. This is how to rebuild. This is how to refurnish. This is how to regenerate an original Jaywick Seafront Bungalow, part 136.